What if you landed on Kepler-22b? Kepler-22b is one of the first planets discovered in the so-called habitable zone, the magical Goldilocks region where liquid water might exist. For years, headlines have called it Earth's cousin, Earth 2.0, or even the next Earth. But what would really happen if you somehow managed to set foot on it? First, let's assume you actually get there. Kepler-22b is about 600 light-years away. That's far enough that even if you hijacked the fastest spacecraft we've ever built, you'd arrive long after Earth has been reduced to a faint red ember. But fine, let's skip over the travel problem. Maybe you took a wormhole, maybe Elon Musk finally perfected teleportation, or maybe you just woke up one morning and found yourself there. Doesn't matter, you're standing on Kepler-22b. What now? At first glance, it doesn't look bad. Kepler-22b is about twice the size of Earth, so gravity would be stronger. How much stronger depends on what the planet is made of. If it's a rocky world like Earth, you'd feel maybe two to three times heavier. Every step would feel like walking with a very clingy elephant sitting on your shoulders. If it's more of a water world or has a thick atmosphere, gravity might not be so bad, but the surface could be completely unrecognizable. Either way, running a marathon is off the table. Next problem, air. We don't know what the atmosphere is like. Best case, it has breathable oxygen. Worst case, it's a swirling soup of carbon dioxide, methane, and sulfur compounds that smell like rotten eggs boiled in acid. Since you didn't bring a spacesuit, remember this was an instant teleportation scenario, your odds of breathing normally are slim. Within seconds, you'd probably pass out. On the bright side, if the air is toxic enough, you wouldn't have to worry about the elephant gravity for very long. But let's be generous. Suppose by some cosmic stroke of luck, Kepler-22b's atmosphere is Earth-like. You manage to stand, breathe, and look around. What do you see? Probably water. A lot of it. Many astronomers think Kepler-22b might be an ocean planet, with no continents at all. So congratulations, you've landed in the middle of a planetary swimming pool 15,000 kilometers wide. There are no lifeguards on duty. You might try to swim to shore, but there isn't one, ever. You'll die doing laps. Even if there were land, the weather would be brutal. Larger planets tend to have thicker atmospheres, which means more clouds, stronger winds, and storms that would make hurricanes on Earth look like a light drizzle. The sky could be permanently overcast, the sun hidden behind endless clouds, with rain that lasts for centuries, your raincoat isn't gonna cut it. The real killer, though, is temperature. Kepler-22b orbits its star in the habitable zone, which sounds cozy. But habitable is misleading. It just means the planet gets the right amount of sunlight for liquid water, not that it's actually comfortable for humans. Without knowing the greenhouse effect from the atmosphere, the surface could be a frozen wasteland or a boiling sauna. Either way, not exactly a vacation spot. Let's imagine for a moment that conditions are miraculously perfect. Gravity is tolerable, the air is breathable, there's land to stand on, and the climate is pleasant. Congratulations, you are now the sole inhabitant of a pristine alien world. Unfortunately, you are also extremely alone. No farms, no infrastructure, no Wi-Fi, and no other humans. That feeling of Earth 2.0 wears off quickly when you realize there's no pizza delivery, no power grid, and nobody to complain about the weather. Within days, hunger and thirst become your main problems. Within weeks, you'll either be dead or inventing the saddest Robinson Crusoe reboot in history. And then there's the possibility you're not alone. If life exists on Kepler-22b, it almost certainly doesn't look like anything on Earth. It could be microscopic plankton floating in the endless ocean, or towering gelatinous creatures with bioluminescent teeth. Whether they're harmless or very, very not, 
is anyone's guess. If they are intelligent, you may be their first alien encounter. Hopefully they like you. Hopefully they don't see you as a snack. In the end, what happens if you land on Kepler-22b? Best case, you suffocate, drown, starve, or get crushed by gravity. Worst case, you survive long enough to be eaten by something with way too many eyes. And most importantly, despite all the hype, Kepler-22b is not Earth's twin. It's a completely alien planet with unknown hazards and unknown rules. So if one day you wake up on Kepler-22b, here's my advice. Enjoy the view while you can, because your trip will be short, your Instagram will have no signal, and the only thing Earth-like about your experience will be how quickly it ends. Let's not try that again.